Men have walked on the moon, robots have sent us pictures of the planets, and now there's the space shuttle. Science fiction has become science fact. The exploration of outer space is no longer the unknown frontier that it was only two decades ago. Today, in these times of economic trimming, mankind is turning to a new frontier, the exploration of inner space. In a few moments, if all goes well, the world will be witness to the ingenuity of the American pioneering spirit, and to the courage of one American psychonaut. We're switching now to mission control. He's strapped in, eyes closed, ready for takeoff, with electrodes all over him and wires leading to complex monitoring devices and busy technicians in the dim light around him. We hear bits of garble jargon and a loud, periodic ping. This is Sid Barrett, a psychonaut. He and five other hand-picked men and women have been in rigorous training for over two years, learning to maintain their equilibrium while under the influence of powerful hallucinogenic drugs, learning to transmit detailed, rational, and objective reports to us back here in reality. Sid is making the first, historic journey into the uncharted worlds of inner space. Just ten minutes ago he was injected with a massive dose of an unknown psychotomimetic drug. No man has gone so far before and returned. Will he be able to maintain the constant and precise communication that is so crucial to this mission? And more importantly for Sid, will he make it back? Sid is starting to grin. He shakes it off and looks serious again. Giggles. Serious again, then. Oh, wow. The mission control people tense with anticipation. They signal to one another. Thumbs up. It's been confirmed that Sid is now well into his journey. I think those first words were. Oh, wow, M. That's one small teddy bear for a man, one giant panda for mankind. I think that was Sid's quote, but I couldn't make it out. We seem to be having transmission difficulties. They tell me, incidentally, that his egg pattern right now is similar to that found in Zen priests during, oh, he's transmitting again. Colors I've never seen before. I think I'm seeing the ultraviolet spectrum. Artist simulation. Psychedelic stuff all over. A crude cutout of Sid in his chair floats by. Oh, wow. The loud pings continue. Distorted. More precise, Sid. We need details. Right, um, I'm, uh, I'm being propelled into, into, the void. Artist simulation goes blank. I see a spot. Spot appears on screen. It apostrophiate. It's becoming a crack, the spot turns into a crack. It's the crack between the nothing. And, and, out of this nothing is coming, yes, it's my unborn soul. Um. Oh boy. Ah, uh, gee, this is really hard to explain, fellas. In. A long pause. Several pings. Are you still there, Sid? And with him an old South American Indian. While we're waiting for mission control, I have with me an expert on the hallucinogenic properties of this. Whoa, holy Jesus. It's. It's. Okay. You're not going to believe this, but I am seeing God. Mission control. Was that God, Sid? Sid? Yeah. Yeah, it's God alright. No doubt about it. Losing control again. Oh, wow. Mission control. Description, Sid, description. Sid. Right. Um. He apostrophiate. Well. He's just like you'd expect. Artist simulation. The face of a wise old man with a long white beard. Sid floats by. I certainly hope everyone who's watching right now is as exhilarated as I am. This is truly an historic moment. I mean I've covered some historic moments in my time but, one moment, we have a message from the president. I am deeply honored, to be the spokesman, for all the nations of the world, to congratulate my fellow countrymen, at the very moment of this, most historic, event. President. Congratulations to you particularly, Sid. Thank you, Mr. President. I leave you now, Sid Barrett, to continue your mission as a messenger of peace for all mankind. The image of the president is replaced by the one of the simulated god. Sid looks radiant. Then perturbed. Then sour. Damn. God turned into this sort of cosmic lizard. And I'm eating the lizard, no wait a minute. I'm the lizard. The simulated god is replaced by a simulated lizard. And now I've become, the whole universe. And the whole universe is a, a doily. That's it. A doily going backwards in time. Oh. Wow. Hey. Do not ruffle Her Majesty's notorious school up. There's green grocers behind you. 
Ung. They're having transmission difficulties right now. They tell me it could well be hours before communication will be restored. In the meantime, the President, and the Vatican, have set up direct hotlines to mission control, and we will return as soon as Sid sees God again. For now, back to regular programming.